Hello, CFR fam. Hope everybody's doing great today. Um, hopefully you guys have just as nice weather as we do here today. Although it's a little bit warm this day that we're filming, maybe 85 in the middle of March. Um, whew, we got a little bit of shade. But um, if you cannot have the opportunity to, go ahead and set up your computer outside. Hopefully you already do. Uh, or have your phone set up for some great fitness for today. Enjoying the fresh air and maybe a little bit of tanning, a little bit of shade. Um, for your warm-up today, we want you guys to go ahead and pause in one second. Although we do need a couple pieces of equipment that you're going to need for your warm-up. Go ahead, grab yourself a chair and a bench, a textbook, something with a little bit of height. It's a good thing I have some ecology and field biology and invertebrate zoology left around from college. And you will also need a yoga mat or something to take it down to the ground. Um, oh, our dumbbells too. Man, where did our dumbbells go? We'll get those in a minute. Yeah, you're going to need yourself a dumbbell as well. Um, or your weighted backpack or kettlebell, whatever implement it is that uh, you borrowed from the gym. So go ahead and hit pause on that tape right now. We want you to head out 90 seconds on your run and 90 seconds back in and meet us here in a minute. Welcome back from your run. Come on down to the ground, guys. We're gonna do a little bit of like mobility slash strength uh, warm up for today. We're gonna start out in a clamshell position in a side plank. So go ahead and set that arm up, elbow under your shoulder, and then you're gonna press that hip up into a high uh, plank with your heels in line with your bum. We're gonna take this at a 30 by zero tempo. We're gonna do six reps per side. So go ahead, hip up to the sky for me and you're gonna close three slowly, and explosive open, and one, two, three, drive those knees open, one, two, three, open, there's three, you got three more, down, two, three, up, down, two, three, up, one more, down, two, three, up, and relax. Go ahead, flip on over to the other side, same thing, elbow under that shoulder, heels in line with that bum for that clamshell. Becca's stealing all the uh, shade over here. Hips in line with your bum. Go ahead, drive that hip up to the sky. And we got six reps. And open, down, two, three, open, down, two, three, open, down, two, three, open, three more, down, two, three, open, last two, down, two, three, open. Last one. Down, two, three, open, and relax. Our second movement, you're gonna flip it on over in a quadruped position. Hands are gonna come underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips to start. We're starting on that left side, so left hand is gonna go behind that left head. You're gonna press the floor away and open and rotate up and then rotate down, shoulders come to the ground. And open, and down. Still keep the shoulders square when you come down. Two more. Last one, and down. We're really trying to reach that elbow nice and high as you rotate through that torso, elbow to the sky on the finish. Go ahead, switch sides for me. Right hand comes behind that head and rotate open and down and open and down. Two more. Down, last one. And down, good. Take it on up to your feet. We're going to do a few side lunges. Okay, so come on up to your feet. Kind of like your caustic squat, you're gonna step nice and wide. We're gonna go to the right to start. Okay. So nice wide step to the right and lunge, and then step together. Opposite side back, big Woo. lunge, <laughs> step together. We're working on a little bit of slant here in the backyard, so but bear with us. Me. Big lunge, step together, and lunge, step together, lunge, step together, two more. The six per side. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah that's that not was, six that total, was six only three. <laughs> okay, and step together. This was four. Step together. Two more each side. And, and up. And last one each side. 
Woo, big steps. And step press, awesome. We're gonna take it oh. back. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> Extra step. Take it back to the top, back down to the ground for those clamshells. Hand underneath that shoulder, get those heels in line with that bum. Hip up to start, knees together and drive open and down nice and slow. And up, slow, and up. Make sure you're really squeezing that booty. Keep that hip stacked on top of each other as you open through the knee. One more. One more. Up, down, two, three. Good. Heels in line. Set up side plank. Hip up to start. Knees together and open. Down. Open. Two, three. Open, down, open, halfway, open, down, two, three, open, last one, down, two, three, open, and relax. Back onto the front, hands underneath those shoulders, get those knees under those hips, nice and square, tabletop position, left hand behind the head to start and press the floor away, rotate open up, and down, and up, and down, two more, and down, last one, and down, good. Go ahead, switch sides, hand up, rotate open, twist, there's one, and two, and three, last one, Good. Should really feel a nice stretch through that lower thoracic as well as you twist and rotate. Okay. Taking it back to those lunges again. Whew, maybe not so wide this time. <laughs> Six reps per side. We're really working those inner thighs. So big step, step together, and step. One. One. Thanks, B. Oh. And two. Press strongly through that foot. There's three. And four. Woo! Five, one more each side. Last one. Good. Okay, we got one more time through. All three movements. Back down to the side, clamshell. Heels to the bum. Hip up in that plank, and up, two, three, open, 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 two, three, and relax. Heels to the bum, hip press high, and up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, open, halfway, open, last two, <laughs> last one, and down, oh, go ahead, back on your feet, we got one more set of those lunges. Oh, no, we got our quadriceps <coughs> first. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm here for you now. Ooh, man. You good over there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Somebody here is in the shade. <laughs> it's a little bit warmer on this side of the... <laughs> White girl in the shade over there. Hands nice and flat underneath those shoulders. Left hand behind that head. And press the floor away. Rotate open. And down. You got three more. Last two, and last one, good. Switching arms, switching sides. Really think about rotating through that whole torso and not just moving the elbow as we come up and down. Two more. Last one, good. 
Now we're back on those feet for those lunges. Ooh. Put in a request to the husband maybe to level the backyard here. Some grass, some grass and some hitchhikers along for the way. Okay, big step to the side. Step together. And one. Big step, drive through those heels. Hands you. Three, three more. Last two. One more each side. And step. And good. Awesome. Okay. Well, we are going to need these yoga mats, at least for now. Get these out of the way. <laughs> Man, those things are going to heat up in the sun. Go ahead, grab yourself a quick drink of water. You're going to need your chair, your textbook, and a wall or something to lean against. Plus your weight. Awesome. <laughs> You get a little extra air there, Kirsty. Okay. So, like part one, we're going to take you through each of our three movements step by step. Round one will be a little bit slower, and then round two, we're going to pick it up. Go ahead, set your chair up and your book. We're going to be doing some Bulgarian split squats with our front foot elevated this time. Uh, we're going to add in some weight for rounds two and three. Round one's going to be unweighted. So, go ahead, set maybe. up. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so go ahead, stand on nice and close to your chair. Measure those three foot lengths out, okay? Front foot's gonna be on that book. Back leg up on your bench or your chair. Ooh. We're going two seconds down in the descent. We have no hold at the bottom. Explosive up, one count at the top. We got eight reps, so down, two, up, down, two, up. There's three down, two, up, there's four, down, two, up, down, two, up, down, two, up, really drive through that heel, squeeze that booty, and up, last good, okay, if that's tough for you, you don't have to elevate that front foot, you can just keep that foot on the ground as well, still keeping that back leg, just do them unweighted like we worked on. Go ahead, switch sides to opposite foot. Finding your chair behind you. Yes, there we go. Yes. Awesome. Okay, we got eight reps. And down, two, drive. Down, two, drive. Down, two, drive. Down, two, drive. Halfway. Make sure you keep that knee right in line with that ankle. Drive, two more, down, two, drive, last one, two, drive, and relax. Good job, guys. Man, some really good work on that balance there. Go ahead, grab your weight. We're going to need your weight, whether dumbbell or kettlebell or uh, thing of detergent or vinegar. I was trying some vinegar earlier as we were setting up and <laughs> cap leaked a little bit. So, oh, we are using clean. our dumbbell for now. <laughs> anything that you can hold on to. Nice wide stance for me. With these gorilla rows, they're also gonna be at tempo. Okay, so you're gonna have a strong pull into your chest, keeping shoulders down to the ground. We're gonna take two seconds down to the floor. Uh, one, zero counts at the bottom. Okay, so strong pull up, here we go. And down, two, there's one. Two, there's two. Two. And three, two, up, four, down, two, up, here's five, two, up, six, and down. Good job. If you're working with that dumbbell, that, that uh, dumbbell is still going to stay hovered off the ground. With your kettlebell, you are working a full range of motion because you have a little bit longer implement. Go ahead, switch over to the other side. Set up those hips and shoulders square and pull. And down, two, and up. Down, two, and up. There's two. Two, 
three, down, two, up, down, two, up, down, two, up, six, two more. That was seven, I think. Last one, and pull. Good. Relax. Also make sure with that pull that we are keeping those shoulders nice and square to the ground. We don't want to see any rotation open, but hips and shoulders stay nice and square. This third movement we're going to do unweighted to start. We're going to take it back to your wall or a fence, whatever you got nearby. We're going to do a wall sit with pulsating the knees. So once our knees are out, we're going to slightly pulsate in and out little movements. We have a 45 second no, Siri, I just want a timer. We have a 45 second hold. Woo. Knees 90 and parallel. Here we go. I'm starting the clock. Let's go ahead. Little pulses. Four. Nice. Make sure you're breathing. 10 seconds in. Good job, we're 20 down. The countdown really makes it worse. Yeah. Really, just not know. Yeah. 15 seconds to go. Oh man. <laughs> In five, three, two, one, and relax. If you are leaning up against the fence, make sure you gently push away and don't just slide your bum down to the floor. You might wind up with a few splinters. Taking it back to the top on those Bulgarian split squats. If you want to go ahead and try with some weight, you're going to hold that weight out in front of you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with that right leg forward. We're going to see how these go. If you've already got your textbook set up, you shouldn't have to remeasure. back foot lifted chest nice and tall here we go we got two seconds down strong press and up there's one two three good work and five six one more and eight good Go ahead and shift that weight to the other side. Well, weight same side, opposite foot lift. A little bit longer? Yep, yep, there you go. Here we go, eight reps. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Two more. Last one. Good. Woo. Weights come down to the ground. We got 20 seconds. If you are using a uh, jug or something with a nice handle, remember it's gonna be like using a kettlebell. So that jug's gonna come all the way down to the ground. Just go ahead and hold on to it by that handle. Ready for set two? Ready. Okay. Nice wide <laughs> stance. Weight on that handle, and here we go. We got eight reps, and pull, down, down. There's three. Six. So And rest, good job. Feel those in the squats too, man. I'm really tired doing home fitness. Weight on over the other side. Shoulders flat, hips nice and flat. Eight reps. And pull. There's one. And two. And three. Four. Five. Six, two more. Seven, last one. And eight, good job. <laughs> if you're feeling saucy, you're gonna take that weight back with you to that wall. Feeling saucy? We're feeling a little saucy. 
shout out to Mary Woo! Saucerman, who I really miss. Mary Saucerman. Uh, Mary Saucy gets a, gets a shout out. Oh, I'm already there. I hope you started counting time, because uh, I'm here. I'm well, committed. Now we are. Started. We already started. <laughs> I'm committed. Okay. Don't forget about those pulses. Woo! Knees out and in, knees out and in. You know, that's a great idea, though, Becca. Tag us in your comments. When you post your scores on Wattify or take a picture, tag us, CrossFit Reignited. We'll give you guys a shout out on our uh, next video that we take. Oh. Shout out Woo! to um, Caitlin. 20 seconds to go. Mary Salserman. Aaron is our videographer. This hurts so bad. <laughs> 10 seconds. My legs are burning. <laughs> Drew, we love you. And five. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Drew. Okay, we're gonna do a brief uh, quad stretch there. Go I ahead. don't love you, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that ankle. Ooh. Grab that ankle, knee down to the ground, stretch out that quad. And other side. We got uh, one more set to go of this piece. Oh, so we can just pause it and lie to them. Oh, Anna, drooping set here. You have a microphone on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore oh, whatever I say. Okay. Last set through. Oh, you man, gotta get that to... dumbbell again. <laughs> you better oh, pick it up. <laughs> she caught me tossing it to the side. Man. Okay, here we go. Front foot on that book. Reach that back one. Goblet position. Eight reps. Hand down. Here's one. And two. Three. Four. Halfway, gang. Five, six, seven, and eight. Let's see if I can manage to find that chair again. I'm like waiting for this textbook to slide out underneath <laughs> my feet. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> Am I on enough? Yeah. Okay. You're good. Eight reps to side and down. One. Two, three, halfway, five, six, two more, last one, and eight. Whew. Can you hear how hard we're breathing? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Do you see the beautiful glistening sweat rolling down our chins despite the shade that we set up back here? Woo! Okay, nice wide stance, gang. Hips back. Float that weight off the ground if you need to. And here we go. Eight reps. Pull. And pull. And pull. And pull. Halfway. And pull, five, six, seven, last one. Good. Woo! Switch that weight over the other side. Hang heavy, and go. Pull. There. And two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, last rep, and pull. Good job. Man, I feel my hammy's on fire too. Everything this hurts. Hammy's on fire, glutes on fire. Oh man, we got one more set of those wall sets. Yes, we do. Let's go, Woo! Buttercup. Get really close to it. Social distancing, get on the Yep. 
Oh, look, matching black shoes, how cute. Matching yeah. shoes, matching shirts. You're gonna let me get in down here first, aren't I you? I absolutely am. In three, two, one, go! Awesome. Oh yeah, don't forget we gotta pulse those knees. Going to my happy place. Oh, margarita, pina colada, oh, palm trees. Thinking some dark chocolate and some peanut butter, but okay. 20 seconds down. <laughs> Woo! There's 30. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Hand time. Oh, man. Awesome work, guys. Okay. Go ahead, grab yourself a drink of water. <clears throat> we'll wipe off that sweat. Catch your breath for a second. We're gonna need, for this next part, you're gonna need your dumbbell, your weight, or your water dog, laundry detergent, whatever you feel like. We're doing some clean and jerks. You will also need your jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope like us out here today in the grass, uh, we're gonna show you a good alternative. Um, also, your weighted backpack, Weight kettlebell, we'll need that as well. So go ahead, grab a drink, wipe off that sweat, meet us back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, look, we have Breeze. Oh, wow, that was a little Breeze. <laughs> oh, we have some fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> we have some fantastic, well, little Breeze that just flowed through right here, but it was really nice. Okay, you guys are ready to get more of a sweat on. We're gonna move a little bit faster for this next piece. Uh, we have four rounds for time of 10 single arm clean and jerks per side and then 45 reps on your jump rope. Depending on what sort of implement you have, whether it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell or your laundry detergent or bag of dog treats, yeah, okay? you know. from the ground up to that shoulder, press overhead. That's one rep. We're going to do all 10 reps on the one side and then move all 10 to your others. Uh, if you don't have a rope, we do have an option of double unders or singles. They're just going to be jumps. But I want you to double tap on those legs if you don't have a rope to work on that timing. This is also a really good alternative if you aren't proficient at double unders and tend to always lean towards singles. Work on that jump with that tap. It's going to get you into a nice metronome rhythm for that. Woo! Four rounds. Ready? Okay. We are going in. Where's my countdown? I'm gonna okay. play a little bit right here so I have more room if you want yeah, to stay in front. Check your uh, height overhead, whether in your garage and you got a yeah. garage door or whatnot overhead. Woo, restart the clock. In three, two, one, go! One, two, three, Four, five, halfway, six, three more, last two, last one, good, over to that other side, another ten reps. Three more. <clears throat> Last one. Keep breathing, gang. Whew. Here we go. On those hops. Ten. Twenty.
Five more. Last three. Last one. Other side. Five more. Last two. Last one. Whew. Weights down. Back on those ropes. Here we go, 45. Ten. Twenty. <laughs> Thirty. Oh, we're off. <laughs> Forty. One, two, three, four, and five. Woo! Hey, videographer, will you bring me the chalk, please? Chalk. If not, I'm going to slam this kettlebell through the SMS of some shock through the fence. Thank you. Y'all know you need a minute to catch up to Becca anyway, so take this as your advantage. False. It goes for chalk. This kettlebell no jamming. Ooh, here we go, 10 reps. Two more. Make sure that these are truly clean and jerks and you aren't just going from a ground to overhead, but stopping at that shoulder before we press out. Ten other side. If you are doing it with the kettlebell, it's okay to take it from that hang position right below those knees. Six? Yep. Three more. Last two. Last one. Woo! Man, 45 hops and go. Last round, best round, gang. Yes, if you are doing kettlebell, please don't throw it through any walls. I'm sure your significant other or roommate will not appreciate that. Halfway. Last two. Last one. Woo, other side. Four more. Two more. Last one. Back on those ropes. Last 45. And go. Ten. 
can. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. One, two, three, four, and five. Hand time. Good job, guys. Woo! Make sure you note that time on the clock. Finish up if you haven't already. And quick grab some water. We got a little bit more of a Metcon for you, but slightly still our pace. So don't go far away. Awesome. Welcome back, gang. Next piece of our Metcon for today is still a little bit for time, but just a little bit slower. We have two movements for you. We're gonna start out with 20 Russian kettlebell swings. Whether you have a kettlebell, a goblet, or your backpack, Okay, you're gonna swing through the legs and up to shoulder height only. You can opt to hold the dumbbell by the head or hold the dumbbell by the handle and hold onto it this way as you drive through those heels. You guys already know how to swing a kettlebell and we showed you that uh, backpack swing as well. It's gonna be like that dumbbell. Um, second movement is gonna be reverse goblet lunges. We have 10 reps alternating. So goblet position, stepping back and stepping together, okay? Four rounds through of 20 and 10. Okay, let's go ahead and restart that clock. And three, two, one, and go. 20 swings. There's 10. Five more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Oh, we did this one. Goblet steps, here we go. 10 alternating. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Woo, shake out those arms real quick. Merit, those lunges are tough from you. You don't need to have that weight and just work on your step back, unweighted, or to reduce range of motion. Back to the top of those swings, there's 20. Halfway. Five more. Last two. Woo. <clears throat> Taking it back to those back steps. Here we go. Great work. Two more. Last one. Two rounds down. Two to go. Three, two, one, and go. Ten in. Three more. Last one. Here we go, ten steps. Last two, 
Last one. Okay, last time through, 20 and 10. Halfway. Five more. Last one. Woo. Last ten steps. Two more. Last one. Woo! Good work, gang. About four and a half minutes of work. Woo, man. Okay, go ahead, write down your score again. Put your weights to the side. We're gonna come back for a little core and some brief stretch down. Grab yourself water for sure if you need it. Becca, we're losing you for the rest of today, but we'll see you again. I'll do it at the house, I promise. Tomorrow in our next workout live. Welcome back, gang. Okay, hopefully your heart rate started to come down just a smidge. We're gonna take it down to the ground with a little bit of core work uh, and then cool it off with two stretches before we call it a day here today. Uh, we're gonna take you through each of our three movements. We're gonna do four sets total of our core. First movement's gonna be down on your back with your toes up in the air. We're gonna start out with 20 reaches to your toes. Here we go. Halfway. 15. 19 and 20. With that toe touch, I really want you to reach, reach nice and tall. Keep those legs as straight as possible, crunching through that upper part of your torso. Your second movement's gonna be uh, leaning back slightly. We're gonna do some bicycle kicks. So I wanna see nice long limbs with the legs and we're reaching that opposite elbow to opposite knee. You have 20 reps. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Third movement is going to be on the flip side. We're going to work in a plank position from both the forearm down to the hands for some elevator planks. You have ten reps. So go ahead, set up in your plank to start. Here we go. Take it down. There's one. Two. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Good job, gang. One round down. Get a little bit of a nice uh, slope here in that downward motion for that plank. Back to your backs. Oh man, my abs are already on fire. Toes overhead, here we go, 20 reaches. Ten. Break it up and shake it out if you need to. Sixteen. Eighteen. 19 and 20. Woo! Twenty bicycles. Ten. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 
funny. Flip it on over and back to those elevator planks. Okay, here we go. You got 10 reps. And down. One. Four. Two more. Last one. you're bracing nice and tight really sucking that belly button into your spine nice long line position no break in that chain back to those toe touches And 10, pull those knees in. 10 more. Five more. Last one. Woo. Twenty seconds. Okay, taking it back to those bicycles. Gentle lean back, hands behind your head. Here we go, 20 reps. Eighteen, nineteen, and 20. Here we go, gang. We got 10 more of those elevator planks. Hands underneath those shoulders. And down, down, up, up. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Woo! Go ahead, grab a quick drink of water. We got one more set. Short rest here. Back to those backs, long lines overhead, 20 touches. Exhale with each breath up. Halfway, knees into that chest, squeeze it out. 10 more. Last two. Last one, and reach. Woo! Y'all got 20 seconds before we start the next set. Okay, back to that bicycle. Recline back, here we go, 20. 10, 18, 19, and 20. Ooh. 
What do you think? Can we make it through these last 10? Okay, nice tight plank position. 10 reps of that elevator plank. Here we go. Four. Three more. Last two. Last one. Woo! Great work, gang. Hopefully you have your water nice and close. We're gonna grab a cup, take a water, and we're gonna roll right into our cool down stretch. We just got two stretches for you here today. See if I can find a nice angle here where I'm not uh, rolling downhill while I mobilize. Okay. Whew, man, how y'all feeling? Awesome. Okay. We're gonna start with a baby hold. So. Go ahead, sit back on your bum. One leg is gonna be straight on the bottom. Opposite leg, you're gonna pull in and hug to your chest and cradle like a baby. We're gonna hold here for 20 seconds. Start to focus on your breathing. Long breaths in, hold. Low. Exhale. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Opposite side in. Leg straight. Reach underneath that sole of that foot and then around the knee and pull into your chest. Five, three, two, one, and release. Go ahead, start with those feet together. Reach to those toes. If you have the ability to fold forward, you're gonna go ahead and tuck that chin and fold forward. Go ahead, take it on out to a straddle position. We're gonna start reaching toward that right side. So same thing, fold forward. And then walk it onto the center. And then over on to the left side. Good. Roll it on up and we're going to finish on our back today. On that back, the knees into that chest and big hug, press a small your back into the floor. We're gonna hang out here for 20 seconds. And release, go ahead, roll it up. Great work today, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, today's class and we'll see y'all tomorrow.